<laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I love it, bro. I love it. That is fucking sick, dude. The car is like it's built around the turbo. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's it like to own it? Oh, it's great. Um, you don't get the looks as if you were driving a uh, Evo or STI. When you think of the car scene, you don't think of the Mazda Speed 3. But once you realize what's, what, what it's capable of and the potential it has, then you would come to realize that it should be in the car scene. Um, and again, this car would stand up against a bolt-on Evo. Um, I feel it would probably beat it. But um, it's, it's great owning this car. I love it. Um, would you recommend it? I would definitely recommend this car uh, simply because the maintenance isn't too bad. Uh, the, the parts for it, uh, they're somewhat affordable, uh, depending on um, the type of money you're looking to spend. Uh, the best thing about it, I'd say, is the way it drives, the torque. Um, it's got really good pull through third, fourth gear even, um, and the speed. I mean, it doesn't take no time to get up to where you need to be, where you want to be. What's the worst thing about it? I'd say the worst thing, um, the torque steering. Um, although it is fun, you know, it is definitely something you want to feel. But um, it is, it is uh, pretty strong though. Fuel pump, uh, cork sport downpipe, cork sport uh, cat back exhaust, uh, Cobb access tuner, Cobb OTS tuner, uh, stage two plus right now. In the near future, uh, cork sport front mounts on the way, uh, as well as um, some coilovers, so it can get that aggressive stance look. See the way Mazda made the Speed 3s, they didn't allow full power uh, first, second, and third gear because of the torque oh, steering. It's the same as the Focus, just first gear you can't do boost. Right, there's no boost in first or second with this. Really? Um, wow. So, yeah, because the torque steering is, like I said, it's, it's pretty intense. So you got to have the cork, or the uh, the Cobb access port to, to, to override turn it off, that. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you got to, you know, go through. I love, I love that boost gauge right in the middle. Yeah. Most important thing about the car is boost. It still work? Yeah, and another another bad thing about the car is that it doesn't have any gauges. Yeah, like no coolant gauge or anything like that. Oh, that so sucks. Yeah. The, so that, that can do it for yeah, you. Without the access port, you have there's no gauges. That's one down thing about this. You know, three. the thing about these EcoBoost men is that uh, that I like a lot is that they build boost so quickly, dude. Right. I guess because of the size of the stock turbo, or whatever the boost is like they're right there, mm -hmm. dude. It's awesome. Yeah, this thing will push right at 20 pounds. Like right here, dude, 2,500 RPM, and it's already in boost. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. All right. So the steering is not very quick, but it is sharp, you know what I mean? It's pretty snug, I like that. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, that feels good. Yes. Jesus, in third gear. Yeah, and you can feel it, dude. It feels like a boosted car straight away. It doesn't feel like, look. Yeah, it's <laughs> not much like. Look. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I love it, bro. I love it. That is fucking sick, dude. He loves the turbo, man. The car, this is what it feels like to me. Can I go straight? You yeah. Think? The car feels like it's built around the turbo. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I feel Mazda put a lot of a lot of time and energy into into this car. Making it a driver's car, yeah, that's what it feels like, dude. Yeah, I mean, it it, it, it performs well and it and it reacts very well to the uh, bolt-ons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's called Stage Two Plus right now. I'll be fully Stage Three as soon as I get my front mount, which is on the way. So I'm looking forward to that. But for having the car for a few months, Stage Three is not bad. Man, the boost is like legit exciting in this car, dude. It's <laughs> it's like it wakes it up, you know what I mean? Because I drove it out of boost, and at first I'm like, okay, you know, it's a yeah. it's a hatchback with a five speed. That's awesome, but six, six, six oh six speed, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> hatchback with a stick shift, I should have said. But anyway, it means a lot. It means a lot, yeah. That extra gear, man. Shit. <laughs> Come on. Okay, open road. There we go. So second gear. You think it's pretty smooth over here? Can I hit it a little bit? Uh, wait till you pass the railroad track. Okay. Then go ahead and get on it. That, that third gear, dude, is so snug. Alright, yeah, right, right here? How snug it gets, yeah. Alright. So right now we are at 3500 RPM and I'm gonna hit it. And hit, holding it as much as I can. Give it the beans. Alright. Let's go. Oh boy. 
<laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> wow, dude. And if you look in the top left gauge to the right, it'll yeah. show what we capped out at for boost. 20.94? There you go. Wow. So 21 pounds. It's happy, dude. It's a happy motor. It loves the boost. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, third gear is the charm in this thing. It literally like squats. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the... That's true, though, what they say. You know, I watched... Um, one of the guys on Motor Trend, they're like, it's a muscle car with front wheel drive. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Man. I mean, it's just, it's, it's crazy. The torch is thing. Kind of